Hello garden friends, I'm Christy with Green Living Off Grid and I'm going to show you guys an easy way to start beans for hydroponics or aquaponics. I typically grow my beans in an aquaponic system in my greenhouse where I have fish and I use the fish water to circulate through some tubs that are very similar to what I have here for lettuce. Um, I've got them going in the greenhouse but the water will circulate through these tubs and back into the fish tank and it provides just enough nutrients for my beans to grow really well. And I don't have the garden pests that I used to have when I would start beans in the garden. Plus at 7500 elevation it's uh, very difficult to start beans up here because here in Colorado we have snow even up through late May. So the garden ground doesn't get warm enough to start beans in the regular dirt until mid-June. I can't even get them to sprout in the soil. Beans need to sprout at about 80 degrees temperature. So I have developed a system to start these uh, aquaponic uh, beans in a hydroponic setup indoors early in late May and early June. And that allows the beans to develop some roots and uh, some good leaf foliage growth so that I could put them in the greenhouse when it warms up. So let me show you how I do my beans, how I start them. First thing, I, I use a biodome. This is from Park Seed. Park Seed sells three different kinds of biodomes. Um, this is a 40 cell unit and I really like the 40 cell because their cells are just the perfect size to fit the one inch Rockwell cubes that you use in hydroponics. But they also sell a 60 cell unit and they sell an 18 cell unit, which you can use for various other applications and other seeds that you might be starting. But for beans, they grow really well with Rockwell cubes, the one inch Rockwell cubes. And if you use the one inch, the 40 cell unit, you can just push the cell down, the little Rockwell cube down in the cell. And it's just got about a quarter inch lip here to the water and it keeps the water level right at the base of the Rocco cube, which keeps it hydrated uh, um, perfectly as the plants are starting. And the other thing that I really like about the Park Seed units is the fact that these styrofoam trays actually float over the water reserve, so it allows the beans to drop their roots. And if you know anything about beans, they're kind of temperamental. If you try to start them in other kinds of systems, it can be difficult to transplant them, especially if you're going to grow them outdoors. Um, if you are starting them indoors for an outdoor garden, I recommend uh, their probably their 18 cell unit would be nice because you can put the rotor, rapid rooter plugs in that are biodegradable, and those will work well in a garden setup, soil based garden setup. But for hydroponics, I recommend the 40 cell unit. And so, what we're going to do here is we're going to cut out the little Rockwell cubes. They come in this little flat of cubes and so you can cut them down pretty easily. It is something to note about Rockwell cubes the material is similar to fiberglass, so sometimes it's nice to use gloves. I didn't today because it's kind of busy. But um, if you do a lot of these and cut a lot of these, don't cut them over your pants. They'll, they'll be kind of itchy. They're not as bad as fiberglass, but they are a little borderline that way. So I typically use a pair of gloves if I'm going to cut a bunch of these. And I cut over like this plastic that I'm cutting here. Just a little note about Rocco Cubes. Alright, so the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to soak the Rocco cubes in water. Now I'm going to show you this unit because I'm going to use this as a transition unit before I put them out in my aquaponic system. Um, basically took a peanut butter jar, I drilled a 3 inch hole in the lid and that way I could put my net pot in it. And so once, as soon as the beans begin to sprout in my unit, I put them in this little cracky tub, you could call it a uh, little jar, peanut butter jar, and allow, it allows the roots to grow down and I use Maxi Grow's General Hydroponics Maxi Grow solution which supports the green growth of the beans and it just helps the roots and the plants develop a little bit more before I put them in the greenhouse. 
So this is something that I do. As soon as they start to sprout in the tray, I put them into one of these units. I let them grow a couple weeks before I put them out. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do now, though, with this unit is uh, soak the Rockwa cubes before I put them in my tray. So, you don't need to leave them in the water very long. I should say, I am on well water, so I don't have any chlorine in my water, but if you're in the city, you definitely wanna get dechlorinated water when you're starting hydroponics. And a good way to do that is to use a reverse osmosis, an RO system, a reverse osmosis, will remove the contaminants from your water in the city water and it works really well for hydroponics because our water also has a lower pH. My well of water comes in at just below eight. It's a little high for some plants but my my beans seem to do okay with it. My lettuce and my spinach plants do okay with my well water so I haven't had to adjust pH too much for those crops but some plants are more temperamental and they need a 5.5 or 6.5 pH. Our water will drop that pH down to right about 6.5, 6 to 7 um, it, when I run my wa well water through the RO system. So that'll be for another day. I can show you how to set up an, a reverse osmosis system that's portable and easy to use for hydroponics. But for right now, just get yourself some dechlorinated water. Soak those rock wall cubes for, you know, it could be a few seconds or a minute or whatever. And then you stick those cubes down. And again, like I said, you want to push them down to just a quarter inch from the bottom of the of the tray where the water would still ride up to the just the bottom of the the base of the uh, rockwell cube and keep it hydrated while the plants are starting so I'll put these guys in here so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick your beans right down in the hole of the rockwell cube I'll show you real quick well, let me go do that Stick them down the hole, they're pretty easy. Just push them in. And another thing that you're gonna wanna do is use the garden snap bush beans in hydroponics unless you have a trellis system. Uh, the bush beans don't need to have a trellis system to grow, so that's my plant of choice. Well here with the Seeds planted, I'm ready to add water into the bottom of the tray. As you can see, filling it about halfway with water gets the raft to float nicely. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the heat mat. This is a, these heat mats are really nice. They're from Millard and they're 18 watts. And they're just about the right size for this biodome unit. Under the shelf where the biodomes are, I have this uh, heat mat thermometer temperature controller. It uh, measures, of course, the temperature in the biodome with the probe and it will stop heating once it hits 80 degrees and it will just maintain the temperature at 80 degrees. Right now it's 71 because I just started it. But it'll go up to 80 degrees and then it will hold that temperature at 80 degrees. Now to monitor the temperature, I have the temperature probe that runs through the air vents in my biodome. It is lodged in a Rockwell cube and that works really well to monitor the temperature in my biodome and to maintain it at 80 degrees. All right, so we'll see how these guys do. Well, here you see, here in the middle, so one of them is already starting to rip through. I've got some beans here. Now, generally they say beans are temperamental. They don't like to be transplanted, so I'm gonna have to move them into my hydroponic setup pretty quickly. So planting beans in the net pot, once you get them out of the tray, you gotta fish the little roots down through the net pot. Set this thing down in the net pot and then we'll add a hydrogen. Now that I have the roots down into the net pot, I'm gonna pack this Rockwell cube with uh, some hydrogen clay pellets to stabilize it. Next, I'm going to rinse the hydrogen just to make sure that the those clay pellets are nice and wet, and then I'll stick it down in my system. 
Well, here you can see my beans have developed a really nice root base here in my grow tub. And it's warm enough now, I can put these beans outside in my greenhouse aquaponics system. So it's time to transplant them out to the greenhouse. Well, here's my aquaponic system. As you can see, I have all the beans transplanted into the system now. And if you look real closely, I'm not sure if these are buds or leaves coming out. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, they seem to have transplanted well and they have a really decent root base here in the system. And uh, they do like the nitrates they get off the fish, fish tank. So we'll just see how they do. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at greenlivingoffgrid.com.